Hello and welcome. Thank you very much for taking some time out of your day today to watch this video. My name is Katherine Smith. I'm one of the Enterprise PDM Applications Engineers here at Trimec. Uh, we're going to be looking at using the work offline mode with Enterprise PDM. Uh, let's say, for example, you're going to be going home or going on some sort of trip to visit a potential client. And you want to be able to access some SolidWorks files so you can continue working and modifying and designing. Uh, well, with Enterprise PDM, in order to have access to that type of functionality, uh, you'd want to use the work offline mode. So let's say I'm going to log into this vault using my username csmith. And I've got some files in here that I want to take home with me, so to speak. Um, so there's this leg and wheels assembly. And what I want to do is have access to this assembly and the, this wheel that's on this assembly so that I can make some modifications to it while being out of the office. So after logging into my local vault view, I would definitely want to go ahead and check out the files that I will need access to when I'm offline. Uh, if you do not check out the files, you will not be able to go through the procedure that you see here today. You'll have to do a different procedure to save those changes correctly. So uh, make sure you check out all the necessary files that you're going to be working with um, in the offline mode. Once the files are checked out, I'm going to use my tools drop down and choose the work offline option. So right now it's disconnecting my local vault view from the servers for Enterprise PDM. Now when I go into my local vault view, my folders are blue instead of green. So green folders means that you're actively connected to Enterprise PDM servers, uh, and um, the blue folders mean that you're in this offline mode. You'll notice here that the column uh, view has changed dramatically. Uh, we don't have the same columns that you would see inside of your local vault view normally, but uh, the important one here is writable. So I can see here that the leg and wheels assembly is writable and also the wheel has a yes here in the writable column. So I'm going to go into SolidWorks and start making some modifications to that wheel and also updating my assembly so that I can potentially, for example, be at home making these changes uh, or sitting in an airport or on an airplane, on a train, planes, trains, and automobiles. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's go ahead and open up that leg and wheels. Um, assembly from my vault, which is in offline mode. And then I'm going to open up the wheel so I can make some modifications. Let's say I want to put in uh, maybe just a simple fillet. Let's go ahead and put a fillet on each side of this uh, wheel here. Maybe it's going to be a quarter inch. Click OK. We're saving locally. Okay, rebuilding and saving locally. So now that I've finished the modification um, and I'm done with my trip, I come back to the office and I want to go ahead and update the versions inside of the vault and also share my changes with the rest of the organization. So I need to use my tools work online option, which is going to reconnect me to the local Vault Views uh, Archive Server and Database Server. So now when I go and I've got my green folders again, I'm actively connected, uh, and my leg and wheels assembly shows that there's a new version. Local file has been modified. Uh, there's been some changes to it. And here for the preview, we definitely have our fillet showing here on our wheel. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish this procedure by checking in the modified documents to finalize creating that new version. As 
say I went ahead and put in that quarter inch fillet and that's how you can work offline using Enterprise PDM making modifications to files without being actively connected to the Enterprise PDM server components. Thank you again for watching this video. I look forward to uh, showing another video in the future regarding Enterprise PDM. Uh, thank you very much.